This area here, green area, this is for ground. But those bold or thick line, this is for power, for voltage. It could be for 19 volt, 5 volt, or even for 3.3 volt. But this part here, as you can see, a team parts are for data. So we have the control signal is generated by this IC. Do you see here? Generated here and then pass through this resistor and then goes in this direction to the gate of this MOSFET. So this IC activates this MOSFET. So if the MOSFET is not working, means you should check here. You should check this resistor. It could be the bed component or the IC does not generate the control signal. You can just follow this path, okay? Please follow this path like this until here we have a point or a hole, means the path is in other side of the motherboard. If we go here, let's check, we have this IC. Do you see guys? We have the hole, the same hole. So this hole here, coming from this connector, is in the other side of the motherboard here means this MOSFET, this 5 pin MOSFET is the responsible of generating the 3.3 volts for the connector. So we have here a very clear example. Do you see this connector? Here we have this bold line here means this is the connector for the fan. To cool down the CPU. We have this bold line here, means the connector receive here 3.3 volt. But if you find that 3.3 volt is missing here, you, you can just follow this part like this, as you can see. So we have this transistor here. So this transistor is the component that generate this 3.3 volt. So if 3.3 volt is missing, you should check this transistor. It could be failed. But if you find that the transistor is good component, then you should check the 3.3 volt, 5 volt circuit because the transistor received the 3.3 volt from this circuit. So we can even check. So if we put one problem here in the 3.3 volt inductor and then goes directly to this transistor here, let's see. Do you see in the multimeter? We have zero. Means there is a direct connection between this inductor and this transistor, as you can see. Okay, and then the transistor will generate another 3.3 volt here from this pin here, as you can see, to this connector, as you can see in the multimeter. So, if you find that the 3.3 volt is missing here, means it could be this component that is the failed component, but it could be also the 3.3 volts. Hi everyone, so welcome again to this course, a very important course where you're going to learn many secrets about laptop motherboard repair. So I'm going to teach you in this course two very important topics. The first is about parts, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to use these parts, as you can see here in the motherboard, in, in order to solve any failed in motherboard. The second topic is about extensions. So please, extensions are very important in order to avoid short circuit in the motherboard. So without wasting time, let's get started. So the tracks and extensions in the motherboard are very important for any technician and engineer. Why? Because using these tracks right here and the extension, you can repair any motherboard easily around every ic you will find extensions means every pin for this ic is connected to another component as you can see okay so for example if you didn't find here a signal or a voltage you should check the component that is related to this pin it could be the failed component for example let's assume for example that you didn't find here do you see this pin this pin is connected to this ceramic capacitor for example if you didn't find here a voltage let's see for example 2 volt so 
you should go directly and check this capacitor because the 2 volt is coming from this point here and to this capacitor and then goes to the IC. And of course, if you want to take measurements about any IC, please avoid to take measurement here directly in the pins of this IC to avoid short circuits. Always refer to extensions like this. So if you want, for example, to check the voltage in this pin here, okay, try to use extension and check for voltage in this ceramic capacitor here rather than this pin. The same. Do you see, for example, if you want to take measurement, do you see these two pins are close to each other? But if we use extension, we have here this pin connected to this ceramic capacitor and this pin here is connected to this ceramic capacitor. Do you see here, guys, the space? We have a large space, so we are safe here. But here we could make a short circuit. So, so please try to use the extension around every IC. You will find extension, as you can see. And please, here we have a circuit without using the schematic. For example, for this IC, this is, this is basically the sound control IC that control the sound for the motherboard. If you focus here, guys, you're gonna find a lot of parts and, and tracks. And we have 10 parts like those and we have a little bit of bolt or a tick track so this tick track like this guys means here we have the voltage means the ic received the voltage here do you see for example this track here is connected to this ceramic capacitor means this ic received the input voltage here or the working voltage here so for all ic's you gonna find the same working principle if we go here for example do you see this ic we have parts around this IC but here we have a bold line or a tick line as you can see means this IC receive the voltage here in this pin connected to this ceramic capacitor so please guys always try to look for the ceramic capacitor because the input voltage always is connected to the ceramic capacitor just to understand this IC also, do you see guys here? We have a ball line or a tick line and we have other, do you see, thin lines. Means this is for data, okay? And this one is for the power. So if you want to check if the IC receive the working voltage, you can, you can check in this ceramic capacitor. Always the power is connected to the ceramic capacitor, as you can see. Here we have a bolded line. This is for ground. Here we have ground. Because guys, always this area here, green area, okay, this is for ground. But those bold or thick line, this is for power, for voltage. It could be, it could be for 19 volt, 5 volt, or even for 3.3 volt but this part here as you can see a team parts all those are for data here also if you focus here do you see we have these parts all these parts are for data okay and we have a bolded line that holds the power okay here we have data here we have power everywhere you will find this kind of line here, for example, this bolded line hold power, 19 volt, and those hold data like clock, etc. Here also, we have a teal line for data and a bold line for power. So please, guys, pay attention. Here, for example, we have a very important example. Do you see? We have here IC and we have here a MOSFET. So this IC control this MOSFET. So we have the control signal is generated by this IC. Do you see here? Generated here and then pass through this resistor and then goes in this direction to the gate of this MOSFET. So this IC activates this MOSFET. So if the MOSFET is not working, means you should check here. You should check this resistor. It could be the bed component or the IC does not generate the control signal. So this is the importance of this path. 
if you know how to follow these paths, you can repair any failed motherboard without using the schematic. No need to the schematic. We have even here a clear example. Do you see guys this connector? This connector receive here many signals. We have a thin path means this is data signals like the clock etc. And here we have we have a bold line or a thick line and we have this triangle means this this connector is received the working voltage here in this pin 3.3 volt as a beginner if you didn't find here 3.3 volt okay so there is some guys that will replace the whole motherboard because the 3.3 volt is missing here but if you know how to track voltages and paths without even using the schematic you can just follow this path okay Please follow this path like this, okay, until here we have a point or a hole, means the path is in other side of the motherboard. If we go here, okay, let's check, we have this IC, we have the hole over here. Let's zoom a little bit, do you see guys, we have the hole, the same hole, okay, this hole here, guys, this hole. So this whole hill coming from this connector is in the other, as you can see, side of the motherboard here, as you can see. Means this MOSFET, this 5-pin MOSFET is the responsible of generating the 3.3 volt for the connector. So if 3.3 volt is missing in the connector, you should check whether this MOSFET is good or not. But more than that, guys, we cannot stop here. If we find that this MOSFET is a good MOSFET, means this MOSFET also will take the voltage from another component. If we put one probe here and check, for example, this inductor here, as you can see, so this inductor is the inductor that gives the power for this MOSFET and then this MOSFET will generate the 3.3 volt and then the 3.3 volt will go directly to this connector via this path as you can see here. So let's see please the example of this IC. This IC is powered by this MOSFET over here. This MOSFET power this IC. How I know using this path guys this path as you can see here do you see if we follow this path okay let's follow this path we have this path is connected to this mosfet if we check between this pin here so let me please check here we have the mosfet so i put one probe here in the mosfet and the other probe in the ice we get a continuity so please means we have a direct connection between this MOSFET here. So we follow this path. So this MOSFET gives the 3.3 volt to this IC here and also to this IC as you can see. So we have the path under the IC and to this pin over here. We have this pin connected to the serum capacitor. Okay, guys, so if, for example, you didn't find the 3.3 volt in this ceramic capacitor, means you should check this MOSFET. And also, this MOSFET take another 3.3 volt here from the 3.3 volt 5 volt circuit. We can even check. Here we have the 3.3 volt 5 volt circuit. So if I put one probe here, do you see? This inductor for 3 volt. And the other probe here, guys, so please pay attention. In the MOSFET, do you see? We have a direct connection between the inductor and this MOSFET. Do you see? Direct connection between inductor and MOSFET. Means the 3 volts coming from the, the 3.3 volt coming from the 3 volt 5 volt circuit and then goes directly to this MOSFET and uh, the 3.3 volt into here and will be generated in this pin and then goes through this path and then power this IC and then power the other IC.
here okay guys so this is please how you can track the signals in the motherboard if you know how to track signals using the tracks and extensions you can repair any motherboard without even using it schematic let's please see another clear example do you see this ic for example so this ic receive the working voltage here in this pin if you didn't find the working voltage here just try to track or to follow this part like this so we have here a fuse means the 3.3 volt pass through this fuse so if you didn't find here 3.3 volt you should check this side of the fuse is 3.3 volt present here or not because if the fuse is filled the 3.3 volt will stop here and will not pass to this side and then the ic will not be working so we have here a very clear example do you see this connector here we have this bold line here means this is the connector for the fan to cool down the cpu we have this bold line here means the connector receive here 3.3 volt but if you find that 3.3 volt is missing here you you can just follow this part like this as you can see so we have this transistor here so this transistor is the component that generate this 3.3 volt so if 3.3 volt is missing you should check this transistor it could be failed but if you find that the transistor is good component then you should check the 3.3 volt 5 volt circuit because the transistor received the 3.3 volt from this circuit so we can even check so if we put one probe here in the 3.3 volt inductor and then goes directly to this transistor here let's see do you see in the multimeter we have zero means there is a direct connection between this inductor and this transistor as you can see okay and then the transistor will generate another 3.3 volt here from this pin here as you can see to this connector as you can see in the multimeter so if you find that the 3.3 volt is missing here means it could be this component that is the failed component but it could be also the 3.3 volts circuit doesn't generate the 3.3 volt to this transistor in this case for example in this case guys if you find if you find that 3.3 volt is here but not here then you can just shunt between this inductor and this pin of this mosfet so i hope that you understand a little bit about how to track voltages and signals in the motherboard and how to use extensions and parts in the motherboard and then fix any failed motherboard without using the schematics thank you very much guys and please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and of course hit the bell icon for future videos and live streaming thank you very much and see you in the next video